Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be styling and stalling this wig that Cranberry Hair sent me. They sent me a 13 by 4 Indian 14 inch bob wig. And um, I cut it, styled it, etc. And my inspiration for the hair was from this beautiful girl on Instagram right here. And I saw this and I was like, ooh, I want to try that hairstyle. I mean, I've done bobs before, but I don't think I did a bob like this before. I'm not sure. So, I was like, I want to try that. And then, coincidentally, Cranberry DM'd me. They said they wanted to send me some hair. So, I was like, all right. The universe was like, here you go, sis. So, that's how we're here right now. So, before I get into this video, if hi, if you're new to my channel, my name's Elisa. Welcome to the gang. If you're returning, sis, hey, welcome back. And we're about to get right into this video. Okay, y'all, so they sent me the hair in this purple and white box, and it just comes with some eyelashes. I like the eyelashes. I like that they have their logo on the eyelashes. That was really, really cute. Then they sent me, I know, the regular Degula wig caps. Okay, so the wig. The wig comes in this plastic bag, and it says Bob, I guess... I don't know what the STW mean. I don't know. Maybe I'm just dumb. I'm not really thinking. But it says Bob STW and then a link for the wig. It has a net over the wig. Y'all, the lace, I like the lace. It's just a little bit too dark. Like a little, it's a little too brown. I don't know. I think that's what they sent me. They sent me brown lace. But I've seen brown lace that was worse than that. So, it, the lace ain't that bad. It comes with three combs. One on each side and then one on the bottom. Which is really good. I don't like how they have the. I don't like when wigs have combs on the top. So, I uh, they didn't have a comb on the top. But yeah, back to what I was talking about with the lace. So it was brown, but it wasn't like a bad brown. Like it was just the right, okay shade for me. There was literally no shedding. Like the shedding wasn't that bad. Like it wasn't no shedding at all. And I also like that it didn't have that lace part in the back. Like, it was, that that was a really good thing. You know how some wigs have the lace, like how it has it in the front. It had it in the back. I like that it didn't have that. Alright, so y'all already know I'm going to put the wig inside out. And I'm going to use 40 volume Velaba in my bleaching powder. And we're going to get the bleaching of this wig. Okay, y'all, so now we're going to pluck. The line, the hairline looked already pre-plucked. So what I did was just part out the, the front that was, like, pre-plucked, as y'all can see now. And I just see, like, a full hairline now. So I'm just going to pluck it a little bit because it is a bob. So I really don't need to pluck the whole, like, front, like, the whole hairline itself because it's just a bob. I'm going to do a soft part bob on top of that so it doesn't need to be extremely plucked because it's hair going to be in my face anyway. So this is, this is the side that I wanted to just make sure was really plucked and really plucked well because that was a side. Excuse the siren y'all. But that was a side that was going to be showing of my edges. Okay, so I know y'all did not want to see me plug in the hair, or maybe I did. I just, it, when I pluck, I got to concentrate, so I didn't want to, like, fuck up my hairline. So, I'm going to pluck the top just a little bit because, like I was saying, it's going to be a side part. So, I really don't need to have the whole entire hairline plucked. So, I'm just going to pluck the top a little bit just so it doesn't look crazy. I want it to look natural as possible. 
and I don't like that this wig had a widow's peak so y'all gonna see in the like when I'm installing it that I end up cutting that off because my hairline is not like that so I end up cutting off the widow's peak anyways but yeah so we're gonna plug the top just a little bit <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna plug the left side, right side. I don't know. We're gonna plug the other side. <laughs> and this side, I really don't need to plug a lot because it's not gonna be showing anyways. So I wasn't, I didn't really care about like how I plugged it, if I plugged it neat or not. I just wanted to plug it kinda a little bit in case of the wind blow and y'all end up, somebody end up seeing my hair it don't look like a full, you know, crazy mess on this side and the other side look nice. So I was like, let me just plug this side a little bit because I do want my wig to be balanced, if that makes sense. I don't know, y'all. It's the, just the Virgo in me. If I'm going to do one side, I do the other side. So that's why I did the other side. But I really, really, you really don't need to plug the other side because it's going to be a side part anyway. So, you know, wasting time. But it's okay. Got to do the other side just to match it. Okay, I'll say like 95% is stalled. Okay. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just the way I'm putting my wigs on that they're just not fitting me. As y'all can see, I'm really trying to see if this wig fits me. But if it, you know, it fit okay. It didn't fit the best. It fit okay. So, I'm just going to be like, you know, getting it to like, how you say it? I'm going to be customizing it to cut the sides off to make sure it fits around my little ears. And, and yeah, I might pluck it a little bit more because as y'all can see, the hairline's a little thick. So I might pluck it a little bit more on the other side. And yeah, y'all see the lace. The lace isn't that bad. The lace isn't that bad. Like I've seen worse lace. So, okay. The lace is all right.
Okay, y'all, I'm trying to see how I want to, I'm going to cut this wig a bit shorter, but, and I'm not going to put no baby hair on this side because it just don't want no baby hair on this side. But I'm going to cut this. I think I'm going to pluck a little bit. I'm not sure. I was coming up on camera, but I think I'm going to. I'm gonna cut this a little bit. I should have cut it on a mannequin head, but I like to just cut my hair on me because I'm just so used to doing that. For me, doing hair from young, I've always just cut my hair on my head. I do not want this sitting that long, but I think I want to do this side long, like how it is now. Like I want this side to be long and then this side to be short. So I'm gonna do it straight in this hair. I'm gonna blow dry it a little bit. I'm gonna go blow dry this hair, then I'm gonna straighten it. I'm gonna straighten it on camera with y'all.
Okay, babe, so I hope y'all enjoyed watching me install this video. I wish I could have shown more, but y'all already know how I am with my hair. I don't play with it, and I need to really be focused when I'm doing my hair. So I wish I could have showed y'all me cutting it, but my sister had to cut my hair, and I don't think she really wants to be in the camera. So I was like, let me just go let her cut my hair from the back and stuff. And yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this hair. Um, I really love how this hair came out. I'm gonna do a um, how do you say an update on this hair to see how it, how long it lasts and whatever to see if it's like some oh snap my boyfriend calling me to see if it's some good hair and yeah oh, oh wait he hung up good okay so if y'all enjoyed watching me do this hair don't forget to like comment and subscribe um and i love y'all as i always say thank y'all for supporting me and i'm gonna see y'all later